Welcome to this short little vlog um, I'm going to be doing today, showing you some of the U-Hip range, the trench coat from U-Hip and the liner that goes inside of it. So Kim and I were talking and she suggested that maybe I put a little short video together just showing how these two items go together. So I had my trench coat at the beginning of the winter and then the liner that goes in with it. And I can I can say it was an absolute godsend over the winter. I wore my trench coat all the time, not just riding, but just in and around the farm doing bits. So you know, when you turn up to the farm and you've got your jeans on and you put your short jacket on, the rain comes in, your jeans get soaking wet. It's not fun. I didn't have any of that because I had my trench coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first. I've got the liner ready to go. This is the U-Hip trench coat and I'm going to have to stand up for this. So excuse me for a minute. This we will come up and we will do some close ups. This is the U-Hip trench coat. It has a detachable hood that you can take on and off should you wish and then if I do there we go it's long enough that it comes down over your boots as well so there's no dripping inside of your boots it has a flap over the back and then is vented inside that prevents any rain getting in and also keeps you a bit aerated as well. At the back, it has the section here that I will just quickly undo. And you can see when you get on a horse, it allows it to stretch right out. So it covers you on the saddle and down to your boots again. So there's no getting wet. It has a chest pocket here, another zippy pocket on this side and a zippy pocket on that side, following with another pocket that they're really deep actually, that has just a button to clip it back together for security. It has a little waistband that you can either pull it in to be a little bit tighter if you want it to. So these are, these trench coats are designed for females. I'm just gonna pop it on and show you it on. It also has the super duper wrist warmers, thumb holes. So you can put them on you can take them off however you want to wear it but there is nothing getting up there that's going to make you cold okay excuse me if i have a double chin i'm sorry okay it has a fabulous collar on hip so it comes right up, keeps you snugly and warm during winter. And you can see it just, it, it looks super fab. So I'm just gonna sit in here for a minute and show you this. It has a flap that goes over and it's gonna prevent anything from getting in through that zip. And I did wear this, I can, I can say, even if it's just windy, it doesn't need to be raining. This keeps out the wind as well. It's, it's, it's water resistant, but it, it's fab in just, you know, when you get those biting winds that come across the field, this is also fab for that. I highly recommend this jacket. Okay, so, just gonna take this off. A minute. And obviously with any riding jacket, 
it's really, really important. It doesn't flap around. So, let me get my leg up for a minute. We have the straps that go around your leg when you want to get onto the saddle, that that secures the jacket down like so. Okay, so, <laughs> undo that, give you a little twirl. I'm just gonna open it right up. You can see how far this jacket goes. And it really does cover you on the saddle. I'm gonna take it down later and I will show you a little bit on Cisco. Um, I'm gonna take that off a minute now and I'm gonna show you the you hit liner that goes with this jacket. I keep sitting down and I'm gonna have to get back up again in a minute. So this is the U-hip liner that can attach into the trench coat or if it's not winter or you can wear this on its own if you really wanted to. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna show you this again. So this is the U-hip liner that sits inside and this has got the stretchy sides on it just to help with a little bit of movement inside. And I will undo it and just undo it and show you what this looks like on. And then what I'll do is I'll put the two together and you can see how the liner sits inside the trench coat and this would be probably for really cold times in winter that you would put the two together. So again, this comes up really, really high. It's got a bit of fabric around the neck. It feels really, really cozy. It's got pockets if you wanted to wear this on your own, on its own. And again, if I can do this backwards, well, that goes and shows you how easy that is. This will also open up when you're riding, along with the trench coat. It then sits perfectly and covers you. I'm gonna do that up. Put back on the trench coat. And then you can attach the liner to the trench coat itself. <laughs> well, I'm about to take this off. Okay, so I just had to take it off for a minute while I just put it together, but this is, you can see the liner is attached now on either side. Completely secure. Still all very movable in it, although now you have a very, very warm jacket to do any yard duties in or go off for your ride. And there we are. Actually, I still think this looks very slim. And again, I will show you the back. It all opens up. And the liner has the leg straps to secure it around. You can open it up when it get, you get on the saddle to whatever height you want. So you would open that up, sit in your saddle, and then you're completely covered with the trench coat and the liner in for warmth. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you it on Cisco and I'll show you how it sits on the saddle, what it looks like when we're on a horse and um, yeah, a little bit of it moving and uh, how it rides in really. So yeah, I rode in this all winter and um, I'm actually, it's, it's the sun's coming out here now, so it's nice and warm. It's not ideal to be sat in a trench coat with a U-hip liner, but um, it is a fabulous 
jacket. It's a must have for any winter essential for any equestrian. Um, and I would highly recommend it. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of a close up of how the liner is just attached to the trench coat. And it goes all the way up. And here's a little bit of a close up. The lovely U-hip on the pockets. The attention to detail on the trench coat. And again, it's got pull cords. If you wanted to pull the hood in and the hood has got a little bit of a peak just to keep that rain out of your face when you're wearing around the farm. Then here is just the reverse of the trench coat, a little bit of a close up. You can see how far this comes out. And then if you don't want it set like that, you can just pop these back on. The lovely U-hip poppers again. The waistbands that can be moved in if you wanted them to be a little bit snugger. Snugger? What sort of word is that? A little bit more snug around your waist. The flap at the back with the air vent. Let's take that out, show you that a close up. So it's vented. And then again, this is the det detachable hood. It also has a popper here. If you wanted to pull the hood in really tight over your head so it can be adjusted in lots of areas. Around the world, yeah. Here's Gord, you're back. <laughs> Here's Gord. <laughs>